So if you follow my channel on the dog's gun, the uh, ex-wife took the dog back. But I, you know, I just wanted to make a quick, um, well, just investment video. I, I realized that, you know, I, I have few friends in the world and uh, most of them don't listen to me. <laughs> as, as nobody in this channel does, I got 20 followers. No, I actually have 170 or so. But I do you know one of the things that I've noticed that when you watch the channels, you, you get all this commentary about what's going on in the world and everything that's taking place. And I've been guilty of that. But you never get to the meat and screws, right? I mean, what exactly are they doing? I mean, what moves are they making? How are they trying to position themselves for the coming uh, real estate collapse? How are they positioning themselves for the coming stock market collapse? I mean, how are they positioning themselves for the fall in the dollar? I mean, you know, of course, precious metals, you hear that on many channels, you know, oh my God. And, you know, and then I go to some of my other channels and they're still talking about the same old, same old, you know, oh yeah, JP Morgan got busted back in 2020 for manipulating the, few, uh, the silvers market or whatever. Well, you know what? I just tried to put the meat on the line and let's just talk about uh, where I'm going. This isn't financial advice. You don't have to follow this. You can do whatever the hell you want. I don't give a crap. I don't make any money off this channel. I'm not even monetized on YouTube. In fact, YouTube gave me a strike. They're trying to shut me down. So that ought to tell you where that goes. Uh, and I'll probably throw this up on Rumble at some point. So let's just talk about investing and where I'm going. And oh, of course, precious metals. Uh, by the way, all the deals on uh, SD Bullion, they're pretty much sold out. If you didn't buy into them when I gave another video, well, I don't know, it was about a week ago or whatever, they were offering these great uh, Black Friday deals. I bought into them just a little bit, and that's what you do. You just kind of nibble in. You know, you don't ever go all in. Uh, although, if you, I mean, if you're a millionaire, a billionaire, you might want to buy a little bit more than. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. I, I would only buy like one coin here or 20 coins there, maybe, you know, and I'd stick them in a, a safe place, safety deposit box or whatever. So let's just talk about, I mean, because everything can't be in physical metals. And, uh, and if you watch other people on YouTube, you realize that that's, well, I mean, what are you going to do with them? I mean, you're going to bury them in your yard. You're going to stick them in the forest. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> You know, I mean, to a certain degree, I mean, but I, you know, you, there, there's only so many places you can hide stuff and then you got to go get it. All right. So let's just talk about the investments in the stock market that I'm making. So we got uh, FSM. OK, FSM. And that's one of the things that I fought these guys on YouTube for not giving anybody because I just want to know the freaking ticker symbol. A lot of times, I you know, I, I, I see all the charts and I can't give you that. I'm, I'm working on the ability to be able to do some of that stuff, but it's just me on this channel. And, and so, but I just kind of watch them and I just kind of follow along. And, uh, and, and so that's why this is an investment advice, because I'm just following the advice of other people. So FSM, Fortuna Silver Mines. I think that came from Redacted, the Redacted channel. Uh, anyway, it's three dollars, and I, I bought it at three dollars and sixty cents, and uh, I don't know if it's more or less than that right now. But you might want to look at that. Um, it's it's speculative. Uh, you're going to lose all your money, probably. I you know I'm not going to say. So um, um, here's uh, R E C H F O T C. I bought it at twenty six cents. Uh, that's uh, recharge request uh, LTD. Uh, that's probably the most speculative one. Uh, I'd probably lose all my money there. And how much did I buy? I bought a thousand shares at twenty six cents, uh, two hundred and sixty dollars. Who cares? All right. So then I bought the R S N V F. That's R S N V F at twenty two cents. I, that's where I bought it. Uh, that's Reina Silver Corporation. R E Y N A. Now, could I tell you the reasons why I bought all of these? No. I mean, but. If you watch uh, a lot of YouTube, I mean, they give some pretty darn good reasons that these are good speculative uh, junior miners. Uh, and by the way, I mean, you can buy into the junior miner um, uh, uh, ETF, but I haven't done too well with that. I've lost a lot of money on that. So I figure I'll just speculate into the junior miners on my own and just watch YouTubers and buy into whatever they recommend. 
So then we get into VIPRF, VIPRF, and that's Silver Viper Minerals. Okay, and, and last I'm seeing is, well, I, I, I bought it, I think, at 14 cents. Uh, we'll see where it goes. You know, I just throw a couple hundred dollars into these. I mean, you know, because you, you might get a hundred bagger. You might get a thousand bagger on some of these. I, I, well, let me give you my story. So there was a uh, gold company out of um, uh, Saudi Arabia. And it was a ASRD, I think was the ticker symbol back then. And they got bought out and then they got bought out and then they got bought out. But anyway, when I bought it, what I saw was, and this is something that you always want to look for in a stock, there was all insider buy-in. And I'd never seen so much insider buy-in into a, a penny stock, at that time it was a penny stock, in my life. And so I bought, I bought 1,000 shares, then I bought another 1,000 shares, then I bought 10,000 shares, and guess what? It made my wife, my ex-wife rich, because that's in her portfolio. And that, that basically just was her whole portfolio because we were we owned Berkshire Hathaway and we owned uh, a lot of the big companies you know and everything so yeah she made a little bit of money off of those and uh, before the stock market crashed in the last 35 percent drop that we've had but um, that one stock made her whole portfolio because uh, we had like a 10,000 percent gain or <laughs> something on it it was ridiculous i mean but i mean it, but just think all i did was buy that stock on insider trading but it was speculative and i just you know if you've got a couple hundred 200 300 to 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 speculate on things it's not a bad idea uh, here's another one. Uh, and Rick Rule has been preaching about uranium uh, being uh, the place to be. Uh, and that's UEC, Uranium Energy Corporation. I bought it at uh, 385. Um, it's it's kind of hovering around that amount right now. Um, I Well, what I found out was that the Biden administration with this new uh, um, inflation reduction act that just uh, passed by the Democrats, of course, it's all fluff for the most part, but they are investing into, um, I'm sorry to keep folding my legs. I, I, it, it's something I've watched in my videos that I shouldn't be doing, just sit and just talk. And that's, that's something I've been told. But anyway, so yeah, you can buy into uh, to this. Uh, I think it'd be a good idea. It's an individual stock, but a better play uh, on it is, um, uh, damn it, I didn't write the symbol on here. I can't believe it. Um, I think it's U USLJ. Uh, damn it, I can't believe it. Anyway, there's a royalty play on uranium um, that also buys into UEC, uh, and you can buy the U UCLJ or USLJ. Anyway, I, I'm sorry, I don't have that ticker symbol. Uh, okay, so then you can get into uh, GDX. Um, that's an ETF that buys into the big uh, mining stocks. Uh, I've done okay there. Um, I'm not down anything. I'm not up anything. But if uh, if I commodities take off, our gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, um, I think that this is going to go this is going to go sky high. So I I keep pumping a little bit more more money into it from time to time. And then of course the the last thing that I'll recommend are the Sprott S P R O T T Sprott S P R O T T. It's out of Canada. And, uh, and that's an e they, they have uh, uh, four four ETFs I think, and uh, the two I'm most heavily invested in are CEF, that's Sprott Physical Gold, and PSLV, Sprott Physical Silver. And so the difference between those and like SLV or GLD, uh, which are the American, uh, th they're all based on you know derivatives. Um, the Sprott. If you read their uh, pr prospectus, they say they're 100% vested. So that means that every share that you have in their ETFs is backed by silver and gold, which is completely different <laughs> from SLV, which I wouldn't touch with a freaking 10-foot pole, or GLD, which I wouldn't touch ever. Um, so you, you do your own thing. So uh, just getting off onto a personal note, uh, so... You know, I'm always trying to, to, to push life forward. Um, so, you know, I've got 
various things going on. So I got to do my estate plan and I have nobody to leave my estate to but the community. And so I'm trying to work out. So I've, I've got a meeting with an estate planner and I finally met somebody, a Thanksgiving party of all things, that recommended somebody for me to talk to. It was $95 for an hour to consult with them. And so I'll be meeting with them next week. Uh, and I'm just telling you what you might want to think about. So uh, while I was in the hospital with a broken neck, uh, and if you follow my videos, you know that uh, I almost died um, falling down my mom's stairs after trying to help her after she cussed me out for six months. But uh, and so I got you know a couple of names here of people that they recommended attorneys in the area. And so this is kind of what you got to do. You just you just take it one day at a time, you know. It's hard, man. I mean, hell, just today, my ex-wife came over. I was happy to get rid of it. <laughs> she wanted the Christmas decorations. I said, well, you know, you didn't wipe me out. She could have wiped me out if she wanted to. I mean, because, hell, I'm, when you're laying on a hospital bed, everybody wants to swoop in and, and steal everything from you. Um, and, and, well, I'm, I'm not going to say, in, all right, I, I've had a lot stolen from me. Let's just say that while I was in the hospital and uh, it was brutal so when you can't be on top of things every day so what I'm saying is you've got to kind of set up your own precautions and I'm I'm reevaluating life in that regard on uh, kind of protecting everything um, getting names off of accounts uh, uh, making sure that you know and of course you, you if you have relatives which I don't anymore um, now that everybody's dead um, you know, so now I don't have to worry about that, but that's why I'm going to get with this estate planner. I'm going to get with an attorney and set everything up, put everything on autopilot, probably in a living trust, uh, which is something that I encourage you to do. Um, it's going to cost money. And, uh, and if I do pursue criminal, um, uh, uh, stuff, it's going to cost me, well, it's $1,500 for what I, what would they call it? A letter of, uh, damn it, a uh, letter of demand, a letter of demand. And uh, that's $1,500 with a lawyer and plus the consultation fee will be another $100. So you, you but, but that sounds like this guy will be honest and, uh, or one of these and, uh, and say, you know, do you have a case or not? I, I love uh, handle on the law if you want to listen to him on Sunday. All right, that's it for this video. I just thought I'd just like, you know, because this is something I don't see on YouTube very often where you just throw out a bunch of ticker symbols. Uh, you do your own research. This ain't financial advice. I'm not encouraging you to get into these things. But I will tell you this. Uh, buying physical gold, silver, platinum, palladium, I think it's a good idea. I think buying into the mining stocks, uh, which is what I'm doing also, is uh, as, as what you need to do. Buying into the Sprott ETFs, uh, which are supposedly backed 100% by silver, gold, platinum, and palladium. You might want to look into that. And uh, Sprott also has some mutual funds, although I didn't consider them a great deal. Anyway, that's it. It's good, good, good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida, where we have never had vaccine mandates. We have never had mask requirements. And you are free to come and do as you please in this supermajority Republican state. And if you're a Democrat, go to New York, stay in California. Peace out. Stay free.